Now on YouTube, I am back. Here it is, the next episode of the Vex map waking up. And guys, I've gone back to my home numerous times, I think about four or five times now. Got four or five bucket loads of stuff. I also went back into the Grove of Shrooms, uh, dodged a few creepers over there to try and get that other mushroom spawn egg kind of thing. I did that, done it all, now I'm back at home. I've still got a few bits and bobs to touch up around my house. You can see I've now got a potions chest. In fact, I've got two potions chests. One's underneath there. I've also got a miscellaneous crap. That's pretty full now. You can see the spawn mushroom is there as well. Um, I've got a full tools chest. You can see that's my aqua affinity. I've taken it off because I didn't want to lose that whilst I was out and about. Um, a load of blocks here. In fact, I've got some jungle wood from that uh, tree that I cut down over there, and I keep planting another one. Um, you know, every time it grows, I, I just plant another one in there. I've got sh some sugar cane there for books, should I need them. But the next thing I actually want to do, guys, is uh, start with setting up my enchantment table again, start with my brewing stand, and have a look into doing maybe something with the brewing stand, maybe making some potions that are of some use to me rather than you know these ones that do damage um, I want ones that actually help me like these instant health and regen health and regenerations and stuff like that I'd like to be able to get some of them on the go but to do that I need a brewing stand and uh, I'm gonna get myself all nice and set up with that um, I just need some books and I need some wood so that wood there is what I'm gonna be using for the moment and guys I'll be right back Okay, sorry about that. I just had to uh, go somewhere. Um, I can't remember how many bookshelves it actually was. So, let's just go with as many as we can. It doesn't hurt to have too many, but it does hurt to have too little. There we are. Nine bookshelves. I think that's enough for the moment. Should I need any more, or want any more, I know exactly where to come for them. Uh, there's more books there. For some reason I don't know why that stone slab is not converting with that stone slab. Why is that not popping over there? I don't know. I really don't know. Right, where am I going to put... Um, is it in there? My... No, it's in here, isn't it? My enchantment table. Where shall I put my enchantment table? See, I don't want to go too far away from my little uh, base thing that I've got going here. So I'm thinking maybe right slap bang in the middle here. That'd be a very good idea. And uh, as far as that, I believe. They will all pile into there. I'm not quite sure what that gives me in terms of levels. 18 max level, I think, there. So I've still got a ways to go. If you can see, I've got a 34 max level down the bottom there. So I've still got uh, I've still got stuff to do. And I, ah, just in time for where's my tools? I'm gonna put that away because I want to get that, which is efficiency one. I don't know what efficiency actually does. Somebody knows? Please tell me in the comments. Boosh! Thank you very much. And uh, I didn't actually get a sapling out of that, but that's not a problem. I've got tons of saplings here anyway. And I can just replant them and go about with my business. Don't worry guys, I will be getting into some kind of new dungeons and stuff like that soon. But I just want to get my base nicely and sorted and set up. There we are, another three bookcases I think will be great news. Let's see what kind of Max level 24, so we're very nearly there, guys. I think another three bookcases would actually do it. So why don't we go and get some bone meal? I know I've got some loads of tons of bones kicking around to make some bone meal with to uh, to have a stab at that tree for one final go. Boosh! Oh my god, that's quite a tall one, that. It's good. And again, no... Uh, no saplings. I think the I think the uh, the fact that it's efficiency uh, stops the saplings from dropping somehow. I don't know how how or why when using tree capitator, but uh, still, this is one point four point two. I think remember. Um, so oh, I'm not worried too much about it actually at the moment. I need another book. I think we should be able to hit that that high level thirty. 
the rest of these bookshelves. There it is. The level 30 at the bottom there. I'm not obviously going to use that. I'm going to keep that for when I desperately uh, do so need it. Now the next thing I actually want to do guys, and what I am actually going to do that off camera, is go into the next room and start mining some coal out, start mining some iron out, and uh, I will be right back. Right, I'm back from my little expedition into that little room. It wasn't too much, you know, I didn't get uh, too much coal or anything like that. So what I want to do actually is get an axe because there's something I want to do before I leave. I managed to get 33 pieces of coal. I must have had already two on me. Um, but what I want to do is leave one bit of coal and turn the rest into torches. And the one bit of coal, what I'm going to do is get this tree here. I'm using my normal axe this time so I can get some saplings back. Because for some reason it's not doing it with the other one. Um, and I'm actually going to, start, going to start turning some normal jungle wood that we've got here into charcoal. So that I've got a constant steady supply of some form of coal going. And of course because I've got, you know, I've got uh, loads of trees, uh, well at least I can get loads of trees, all I have to do is pull a few, uh, pull a few of these uh, you know, grass blocks out and uh, you know, I can get some and plant loads more, uh, which I probably will do at some stage, not right now though. Um, what I want to do is get uh, 32 coal, I don't need quite that many of them. What I want to get that mushroom sorted, mushroom sorted as well. In fact that's probably my next job actually. Have I got any fences left from the... I do, look at that. I was about to start making some more, but no, there's no need. I have fences. Now the mushroom, where do I, I'm going to put the mushroom right in this corner, I think. This, this one's got more room than the last, I suppose. <laughs> Just a couple, of bits, a couple of bits of stick and wood, and we should be pretty much sorted. I need more sticks than that, though. Oops, I don't want to put it in there. Okay. Sticks. Two bits of wood, that should be enough. I've actually gone and put that stone, the other stone slab. Remember that chest that was in there full of the building materials and stuff? Well, yeah, I've put that up as well. Look, why is that one separate from the rest? I don't get that. Couple of sticks. That makes a fence gate so that I can get out should I need to. And then my spawn mushroom. It's probably not the best idea to have it right over here. Because, of course, now I can actually... Uh, I need to come all the way over here to get some food if I'm going to go back over there to try and, you know, tackle a dungeon or something, which I am going to get to in this episode, don't worry. I'm just setting up, making sure that I've got everything right and in the place that I want it. I've got six balls there, so I'm going to go over and get myself some more mush uh, mushroom soup. Because I'm hungry, guys. Or at least my Minecraft guy is, at any rate. So I'm going to keep them... Uh, and far on me. I do need some torches. Eight should do. That'll get me sixteen um, torches. That's a stack of torches. Of course, I'm not going to take a stack of torches, so I probably don't need that much coal, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't know why I pressed that. It's just habit. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, is take a quarter of a stack of torches with me. I think that that should do. So you can see now I've got some charcoal going. That is renewable energy right there because I have uh, wood growing, or at least I will have wood growing. Um, I've got some torches there, and I've got some mushroom soup, and I think we are good to go. Now I'm actually going to take some more torches, I think. And that'll do. And then we'll go and see what kind of place to go through uh, or go into next. I'm just going in blind, really, just to try and feel my way through and see which one's the best way to go. There's a skelly over there. I knew I hadn't lit that area up enough when I was going around with the uh, with my pickaxe getting some coal. So let me go back and get my... just get a crappy little sword. I'll make myself a nice wooden... Uh, uh, not wooden sword, a stone sword or something like that. Unless I've already got one kicking around, which I do. Brilliant. 
I've got 20 pieces of I and R from this room as well, but I'm a bit reluctant to actually, you know, set me, you know, do that into iron ingots. I mean, I'm going to do it into iron ingots anyway, because there's no use for iron R by itself. So, right. Oh, well, apparently the uh, the skelly's gone. So let me light this area up a bit, and that should do this area. I shouldn't need, uh, or should I say, I shouldn't have any more problems with this area, I don't think. But you never know. It's always sneaky little bourgeois. So let's go into here and go into the next little dungeon that we're going to be facing. Joy. <laughs> Intersection number two, guys. Uh, Blast Arrow Castle, Helix Cavern, or Legion Halls. That looks very interesting. It looks very full of zombies and stuff. That's got a creeper right in front of it, so I'm not going to go there. Helix Cavern doesn't seem to have anything. So let's go this way. Why not start with the one with nothing in the way? Seems like a good way of doing it to me. Whoa, that is insane. Uh, this could take a while to actually uh, light up, guys. But let's just try and get this starting area all lit up here so I'm not absolutely... Uh, got by zombies as soon as I step in the door. Just getting this first area lit up if I can. And I've run out of torches, would you believe? Oh, and I just heard a piston... Uh, piston potion trap kind of thing somewhere now I'm gonna go get some more torches I think it's gonna be a pen in the ass walking all the way back here all the time but never mind we'll deal with that we shall deal with that all the rest shall have to wait helix caverns it is first Let me get some stuff I think I will uh, get myself a stack of torches, actually. That is a pretty massive cavern, I've got to say. It it does look huge. I've got no idea in which direction to go just yet. Next thing to do, though, is to get uh, some form of things going for me. Um, I do have my sharpness. I do have that sword. Now, that sword is pretty epic, but what I would like to do is get some armor along with that. Um. Hmm. See, leather armor. The only thing is, I've only got one cow now. I could, but it would take forever. Try and. I oh, mind you getting the. I could get it in the cart and then follow it. We'll see. We'll see, I'll try and do it in between episodes, maybe. Uh, okay, so, leather... What was I doing over here? I was getting some more torches, wasn't I? 38 torches. Will that do as a start, do you reckon? I think so. 38 torches. Stone sword. Four bits of mushroom stew. I think that's a good start. Just to feel our way into Helix Cavern and see exactly what's going on there. Get the lay of the land, so to speak. Plus, running all this way all the time is going to uh, deplete my hunger bar, and that's the problem I was having with uh, with not Blast Arrow Castle, the other one, Boomer Castle. I was having that same problem with that. Right, let's see if there should be nothing in the starting area, which is great. Okay, so you would think with it saying Helix Cavern that it's going to have some sort of winding stuff, and it does have winding stuff. Um, I can't see anything. I've, I wouldn't know where to start looking or going, but I do know that over here somewhere there is a um, a trap of some sort. That looks a very suspicious area right there. Let's go over there. Let's go over there and then run away like some sort of babby. Come on, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. You ain't. 
You might be though, so watch out. Skinny guy over there. Oh wow, that was great. That was great, guys. Okay, so let's get up there. Oh, that didn't sound good. There's, there's the trap. I don't know what it's waiting for, to be quite honest. Me? I, don't, I wouldn't know what that, uh, what that does. To be quite honest, what's in here? There's absolutely nothing in there. There's a lot of scurrying and clicking and all sorts of stuff going on. Okay, so let's uh, let's push on into here just a little bit and see what's going on. Because this looks confusing to me, guys. And I think I'm going to go up here, actually. Look at that, pro. Pro, I tell the 22 torches, so I'm going to do this kind of sparingly. Whoa, this is insane. Look at the size of this room. I've got to be careful, there's a skinny there looking at me. I don't know where to go. They just seem to have... They've got like a... Whoa, what the fuck was that? Holy shit! Did you see that, guys? And now I'm glitching through the floor and everything. Come on now. What the fuck was that? Oh well, this gives me an excuse to... Uh... Oh yeah, that's right, I never actually slept in my bed. I transported my bed around, but I never actually slept in it, so... It'll be a long bloody road back, guys. Um, ladders, stone axe, levers... I don't really need any of this. Got anything of interest here? Lapis block? I don't really need that either. Oh my god! The, the, the zombies just like spazzed out and then just went whoosh straight towards me. What the fuck was that? You can't do that bullshit. That's not fair. That's just not fair. That's not right, that. It's not right. I, it wouldn't surprise me if that was Vex that did that. Even though it did look like it's proper spazzed out, so I don't know if it was. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a long trek back, guys, so I will... Whoa. Lag. I will... What's going on? Yeah, I'll cut the recording here and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Actually, guys, just thinking about it, if I'm quick enough, I should be able to uh, get up here, then get back into that uh, that area, and try and get my stuff back. I know there's not much stuff there, but there is some torches that I uh, that I that, that need using, so to speak. I I do want them back, please. It wasn't very fair that. I don't know what the hell happened there, guys, but that was really weird. And I'm running out of food pretty sharpish. So if I'm quick enough, I may be able to get up to my stuff, and that's what I want. Because I've also got some mushroom stew up there as well. Shit. Oh my god, there's tons of stuff everywhere. I'm sure I'll lit this up better than this. I swear to god. Right, the partying zombies, I hope they've gone because they absolutely killed me. Right, some experience still kicking around. There is no partying zombies anymore. Okay, so I'm back. I don't know what the hell happened there, guys. It must have proper lagged out or done something because them zombies were partying they were minding their own beeswax and next minute they were on my ass crack like you would not believe uh, okay so we've got to have a look here and see exactly where we want to go well I think we're going the right way this way or at least I hope so Whoa, what's that? what's that? what's that? something's on fire got to be real careful guys Oh, what's going on behind me before I sit down to eat? Okay, we are we're, we're relatively safe uh, until I start moving again. No, we're not. Immediately not safe. 
A little bit of uh, moonlight going on here. I don't know what that's all about. There's a nice circular area down there that looks very suspicious. So of course I'm going to go towards it. Like some sort of madman. skellies. Can't stand them. Right, I'm running low on torches now. So, there's a circular kind of structure or something down here that looks very, very dodgy. In fact, the whole place looks dodgy, guys. But I'm just going to run it now. Light this area up as good as I can. Ouch. Son of a bitch. Whoa! Just run. I don't know where I'm going. Just run. Woohoo! Made it past them all. God knows what I'm going into, guys. God knows what I'm going into. But it's dark. Oh, that's all I know. That's all, that's all the information I can give you. It is dark where I am. It's very, very near the bottom of the world. There is some torches. Uh, there is a thing up there. And a glitching out skelly. Come on now, run. Power miner, whatever it is. But uh, I'll keep a note of that. I'll just run through here as much as I can. And see if there's somewhere that I need to be. Because I don't know. Ah! Stop, guys! <whistles> right, I've no idea where I need to be. I would think that with it being sort of helix caverns, that I have to go upwards, um, and I can't find a way to actually go up. Unless, ah, look there, look top left. That looks like the wall to me. Um, how do I get up there, though? That is the question. I think I've actually got to run around there. Let's say, if I get out of here pretty quick, then that's good. That's good going. Zombies. I can hear them. I think it might have been a better idea actually guys to stick to the left when I came in instead of going down the middle that was pretty silly of me but what can you do now eh? What can you do now eh? And is that the spoke I need to be on? I think it may be. Ah, It's going to be a problem. Get out of it. Get out of it. You think you are you son of a bitch. I've no idea how to get up there, guys. I'm stuck. I think maybe that little spoke there might help me out just a little bit if I go up there. So why not? Why don't I go up there? This is a... It's quite a big space to try and fill with enemies. So I think it's actually working to... Oh, fuck, there's a skelly. Who just sniped me from nowhere. Some iron. Nice. I think I'm gonna go. Whoa! As long as I keep running, I should. Be okay. Oh, son of a bitch, now I'm dead now, Anna. That skellies. It's always the skellies, guys. It's always the skellies that fuck me up. Oh, and I'm back at fucking home again. I forgot to go to sleep. Well, I've lost all that stuff. I'm not bothered about that, to be honest. There's only, what, some empty balls. Uh, there's no torches left. There was a very near broken sword. What I'm going to do, guys, is um, I'm going to get tooled up with, with torches. Even though it was such a large space and a large area, 
There's only certain places where I actually want to go. And because of this large area, this large space, there's, they're, they're spawning quite far away from me, so that's not a problem. Um, what is a problem is it's night time and I want to get back and go to sleep. But uh, what is the problem is I don't fully know where I'm going. I saw the place where the wool is, and that is obviously my aim. I need the wool to try and get that stuff. So... Uh, I think I've chosen well going for this one first and foremost. What I would like to do is get to that wall, get the wall on the monument, and maybe later on come back and um, uh, do a little bit of exploring or something. Because like I said, there was iron there. There was iron ore. There was some other bits and bobs and stuff kicking around. Coal. Uh, not that I need coal anymore. I've got charcoal. So uh, Anyway, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up this episode of waking up. We've started on Helix Caverns and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the Helix Caverns. It's not too hard, yet again, it's not too easy either. And uh, that, those are the type of ones I like. I hated Boomer Castle because it was just literally death after death after problem after problem. Helix Caverns seems to be okay if I can get the right route and if I can get my route uh, well lit. If I can get my route well lit, then I should be okay, you know, coming back and forth and back and forth even if I die. I should be pretty much okay getting to, trying to get to the top. God knows what's going to be at the top when I get there. It's Vex, for crying out loud. It's probably done something up there, put some spawners around the bloody wall or something like that, just to make life hard for you. Um, so, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know how I'm going to uh, approach it yet, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to go to sleep. And we'll see how we go. Once I go to sleep, I think I will cut the video there. And, um, I mean, I do love this cavern. I absolutely love this cavern. I come into this and I say, I swear to God, it feels like home, guys. It does feel like home. So let's go to sleep if we can. Hegyoki was shot by a skeleton. Thank you very much, Skelly. I hate them. I can't stand skellies. I can't. Just, just, just do my head in. Anyway, guys. Until next episode, I've been the Softman, and as always, stay safe.